One of the things I like to do in my speaking class is I like to have students record their own dialogues. Um, we can just do that with audio or one of the things you can also do is you can attach it to a video. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to take a YouTube video, I'm going to remove the audio and I'm going to add, have my students then record their own audio over top of it. Um, that could be a dialogue or it could be narration or whatever it is, some sort of description. But um, in this particular case, I'm going to use all online tools. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this uh, video here. This is a video called PIP. Um, it comes from uh, a guide dog organization and it's just kind of promoting the idea of guide dogs. In the video there's you know sound effects and music but there's no uh, anybody speaking. So what's really great about this is that uh, students can actually kind of create their own dialogue without getting the influence of uh, what was already there. So I'm, I can just show you a little quick snippet of it. Um, basically, it could have something like this. We have K9 University and then we'll see uh, Pip in a few seconds here, a little puppy who wants to become a guide dog. And so we could even have like the dialogue of the little other puppies coming in and he could be saying something and then you can have um, what is he thinking, that type of thing. That's the video. I'm just gonna copy that URL. And I'm gonna to go to something called capwing.com. Capwing actually has a ton of tools. So we're gonna actually click on tools. You'll see there's tons and tons of editing, video editing, and other types of editing tools. Uh, we're gonna just look at add audio to video. So I'm gonna click on that. And here I can either upload a video, so if I have my own video or whatever, or I can paste in a URL for a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna paste that in and it starts off. So I'm going to pause that right away. On the left hand side, you'll be able to see that there is um, the video will start playing and you'll see the video over there. And you can use the return to beginning if you want. Over on the right hand side, we have a couple buttons. We have mute video and we have record. And so I'm just going to mute the video because I don't want to use the background audio at all. I'm going to have my students just record their own dialogue and description underneath or over top, I should say. So here's a record button. Now I can upload audio. I can also take audio from another video like YouTube or I can paste in a URL from SoundCloud. But where I actually use the record function. So you hit record and it's going to ask is it okay if I use that? And You say allow. And then what you need to do as soon as you're ready is you're going to hit record. And you can start adding the audio recording. But the best thing to do before you do any of that, I'm just going to stop that and I'm going to say re-record is to play the video first. So I'm going to put play and I'll hit record. Pip arrives at K9 University. Wow, it's amazing. I can't believe I'm here. Pip starts approaching the university. Hey guys, as other puppies start getting in the way. Okay, so not the best dialogue in the world, but I have it. And I can actually play the audio and I can listen to the audio and see it's what I like. I can then hit re-record if I like it. If I don't, then I'm going to hit use as audio track. So I'm going to hit use as audio track. And you'll see that it says audio will start at zero. I'm going to move the thing back here, uh, put pause, and I can adjust the volume of the video. I can have the loop the audio or whatever, but we're not going to use any of those functions. So let's just imagine that this is working. Okay. So if I press play, now what would happen is it would have my Pip audio arrived. overlay the video. I'm going to hit create. And then what happens is it takes quite a while here actually. So depending on the length of the video, this one's about four minute long video. So it actually would take quite a long time. So we'll come back in a few seconds here. All right, so now we have a new video and it will actually sit and loop through that video unless you pause it. Um, interesting thing about this, I can either download it and it will keep this Capwing um, watermark on there or I can actually copy the link and I can send the link to someone so it will be streaming. So it depends on how you want to go about that. If you want to download it and then upload it somewhere else or if you want to copy the link and have it sent to someone. So students could, for example, copy the link and send it to you and you can either download it or view it there. Um, doesn't really matter too much, but um, if you do want to archive it for later, I would suggest that you do download it. Um, so that's basically it. You have a new video 
with a new audio. You could have left the old audio and done over top of it and you can adjust the volume that way. But I prefer it's much easier just to have the students mute the video and do their own audio and download it that way. So what do you think? Did that work? Let me know. If you have any questions, um, you can put them down in the comments or you can send it to me on uh, Twitter and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.